Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati and in this video, I will be talking about one of the most famous interview question of Pi Spark. So before going to that, I would like to introduce my channel Geek Coders and here I upload videos on Azure Data Factory, Azure Data Big, SQL, Python and so on. So if you're liking my content, you can subscribe to my channel and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. Now, let me go back to my database community edition. Here you can see I have written one data, like I created this data set. Okay, now you can see we have this data set. We do not have any header and something like that. And, uh, and this data set I have uploaded in this path, okay, in this uh, file, interview underscore, sorry, let me cancel this command. I have uploaded this thing into this uh, file. Okay. And now what we want to do, we want to load this data. Now, if you can see here, we have this one A12 and again, we have this two B23 and we have this three C34 and then we have four D15. Let us assume we have ID one A name and 12 is the age. And again, we have the same kind of data. So since it is in, in one row or one line, we need to segregate into the multiple rows. How would we do that? Okay. So for that, let me first load this data and we'll show you. So let me write here df is equal to spark.read.txt. I hope so. And then here let me write down this path okay now let me do df dot show txt sorry my bad hmm. now it is running fine now if you can see it created value as a you know as a column and then we have a data like this what we need to do we need to segregate this into this part. How would you do that? One approach is that we will change this, you know, like if we know that this is ID, this is name, this is age, and again, we have this something. And since we have this, uh, you know, the separator is same for all, we need to change, we need to change a separator after a line break or you know, whenever we have to change the line or change the row. So this one I have to change. This one I have to change. This one I have to change. So it is creating one, it is making one pattern. If you can say this is zero, one, two, third. In third index, I have to change the separator. Again, one, two, three, here I have to change the pattern. Likewise, so on. So in order to do that, what I will do, I will create a new data frame like df1 is equal to df dot. Create one new column. Let's say a new underscore value. And here I will use regex function which is inbuilt function of PySpark or database also you can uh, say and um, in the first parameter in the first parameter I have to I have to write down the column name which is value okay second one is I have to write the regular expression so what I will do I will write dot star take everything okay and then check for this uh, hyphen we can say hyphen and check it every third position that's fine and replace it with replace it with dollar zero comma it could be anything okay 
and here let me drop let me drop let me drop value column because that is not needed now let me do df1 dot show we'll see the output okay now you can see we have the output like 1 a 12 then we have this string and again we have 2 b 23 and then again we have this string so now our life is sorted so here i will create a new data frame let's say and i will try to i will try to use a use uh, what we can use explode okay we can use here explode so what i will do um, okay so let me use here df1 dot df1 dot with column okay and uh, here i will assign this into uh, you know like new value new value underscore one let's say and here i will write explode split and then a my column name is new underscore value okay and split it with hyphen comma and just do df2 dot show now you can see we have the correct output like this and since i do not need i do not need new value column so i can drop it over here okay now let me run it again now we have to work on this so what you can do you can save this data into one of the uh, raw layer or you know in some of the layer and then you can extract it from there or or what you can do you can directly directly uh, you know change it into into the tabular format so how would you do that it's simple if you can see we have one pattern okay now we have to use simply split function so what i will do here i will write here df2 dot select okay dot select and here i will use a split and the column name is this one right so i will use df2 dot column name and let me put it into one new data frame let me just print Oh, sorry. Let me use here this. Now you can see we have one A12, two B23, and that's life is sorted. Uh, here, what I will do, I will just, uh, you know, okay, do not need to create a new data frame. We can add down here with column, given a column name like ID, comma, this, and I have to use the first index okay this is this is one bracket and this is okay now let me just copy it dot paste dot paste here just change 0 to 1 and 0 to 2 and change the name the name would be here name and here the column name would be h and yeah that's it i hope so that is not defined okay where it is okay let me just remove this and we'll see left is not defined okay oh sorry my bad i have to remove this one so let me remove the select it is not needed here and let me just run it now 
okay so we got this uh, column also that is not required so i just simply put here drop drop the column name and then see we have id name age and we have the correct output over here right so this is one of the interview question which was asked uh, previous days not recently i hope so and uh, you can prepare this question also you know this could this this can be asked in your incoming interview and i hope you have got the idea of regular expression uh, method in PySpark or databricks i have created one more video that is the second video i i hope so second or third video video in my this playlist so if you're watching it from the beginning that you could have seen uh one of the more like one of the similar question like this and if you haven't seen then you can go and watch those questions i hope this question uh, you understood properly and moving forward i will be uploading more videos on these kind of interview questions on PySpark. and uh, yeah that's it thank you